we have uh, shown uh, and expressed uh, our views uh, to the United Nations uh, Human Rights Council uh, that what is happening uh, with the Pashtuns in Pakistan, the gross human rights violation, extrajudicial killing, torture, and uh, uh, the uh, enforced disappearances which are taking place uh, in Pakistan, and we want to tell them to stop it. So, so we, we are also telling them that uh, the, 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 the people, uh, the, 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 the representatives of uh, the, the military establishment in the forms of just like Rao Anwar who killed 444 people and he is living just like a VIP style of life. Ehsan Ullah Ehsan, who has killed the Pashtun people, who is a Taliban leader, he is, uh, he is being uh, treated just like a VIP uh, leader uh, by the military establishment. So we say that the Pakistani military establishment is killing us, is disappearing us uh, in different forms, in different faces, just like sometimes like General Musharraf, sometimes in, in the face of Rao Anwar. So we want them to stop it. We are protesting because uh, in Pakistan we are suffering from extrajudicial killing. Uh, we are suffering from genocide. Pashtun as a nation is suffering from the last 70 years from that politics. That's why we are hearing, here and ag protesting against that. We are requesting, we are here and demanding from the international community that they should come forward and take interest now. Ultimately, they should find out and they should sort it out with Pakistan because we have been thrown like, a, like in a basket like potatoes. But there are four or five nations living. We are on the disposal of one nation, Punjab and Punjabi army. They are destroying us, they are killing us, they are exploiting us, they are discriminating us, and they are destroying our tradition, culture, and everything. We, in 1947, before that, when there was election happened in Pashtun Khwa or Pashtunistan, the people there voted in favor of Congress because it was a secular nation. It was a democratic nation. But now you can find out what they have done with our nation, where our nation is standing. So we are requesting from the international community that this is your suffering also. This is not only suffering of Pashtuns. It is the humanitarian suffering. We have been taken from one place to another. They are pushing us to darkness. They are pushing us to illogical reason, uh, life. They are push pushing us to orthodoxy. And they are pushing us, you see, to the destruction. That's why we are here and requesting the international community to come forward and help us.